Hey, Kevin, it's Todd with Learn to Grow Wealth Online and uh, with Wealthy Affiliate. Hey, just want to get to this question here. Um, nobody can teach me how to get the image clickable. I mean, I still can't get it. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got an old website that I pulled up here. And so you probably recognize this WordPress format. So here's just a photo. Um, you can center it, you can move it left, whatever. Um, I want to make it and put a link in it. So it's already got a link into it. So what you do is you just put, you, you press that link button right there and that brings up whatever link you want. This is an affiliate link that takes it to a specific program. Here I've got the page pulled up here. And then somebody, when, when somebody clicks on that image, they get taken to this affiliate program, right? So if I added a different image um, here, and I'll just do an Amazon, add an image. I don't think I have too many images. Um, we'll do this Columbian Cupid. So let's say I don't have a Columbian Cupid pulled up. Let's just say I use Amazon because I know you were using Amazon. So whenever you grab a link from Amazon or an affiliate, you want to make it a pretty link. I'm sure they've covered that in the training. If they haven't, you probably shouldn't be adding links because that's one of the first things. So let's say we go in and we want to... Um, you know, uh, promote something, this echo plus or something. So here we have our text image, our image, and our text plus image. So you can't, you cannot use images from Amazon. You can't just copy paste and, and, and add it later. You have to use their image, which is this right here. So I could take that um, and it would have code within there that already has your affiliate link inside of it. Or I could do the text image, text plus image, which would look like this with text in it. Or just the text link so that's probably what you're going to grab so I would grab this copy it and then I would come back to my website come down here to my pretty links and I would I would add sorry here add <laughs> add a new one right here just like they'd probably done in the training where you throw in the original URL and then you put maybe like go forward slash echo or something like that. <clears throat> you create the link in the advanced options. You're going to make sure that it has a no follow link and you can have the tracking, but you want all of them to be no follow. Create that link. Grab the link, copy it. This makes these pretty links make it look cleaner and that's just better for search engine optimization. It's in the, another SEO technique. So I go back, <clears throat> sorry, go back to the uh, post. And if this was for Columbia and Cupid, I'd link that, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to link there. So I just, I press that link button. This comes up here. I press paste. There's my link that I created. And then I can just press enter and it's in. Now, if I want to edit it, I would go back to the edit and I can control, you know, things from here. I can put the alternative text. That's your keyword phrase that you're targeting. <clears throat> um, you know, open the link in a new tab or you open it directly. If it's a sales page, I'm typically sending them directly to that, that page and not opening that, opening that new page in a new link. And this one, I'll leave that checked so you can see that. Update it. And I'll just save the draft. I'm not going to publish this. This is the, the, the draft right here. Refresh it. Here's the picture. If I push that, a new window will pull up and it will take me to Amazon. And there we are. That's my affiliate link, Amazon. The window popped up. If I change that link and go over here, just here, and go to edit that link and click do not uncheck the open link in new tab, then update, update, then it will go directly, it will just click, and when somebody clicks on that image, they'll go directly to Amazon. So that's the only way I change that. So one option is let the reader go to a new tab, and the other one is to send them directly to it. So that's how that works. If I want something on my sidebar, like here, to make that clickable, then I just go into into um, Appearance, Widgets, 
And then that's where I would add in a link. And as a matter of fact, what I would just do in this case, like say for example, I wanted to grab that image I just had with that cute Colombian gal in there. So this was the sample text. So what I would do is I would just take the text and the code from this image right here. Um, and I go into, and from the visual editor, this is the text editor. So this is like your HTML text editor. And I could go in there and grab this code. Just to make this. So I can just grab this this code here. I believe that's all of it right there. And then go into my widget area. And then all these are just text widgets. So you just grab a text widget and you bring it over here. And this is your designated primary sidebar, my sidebar. And then I would come into the either I could put I could probably, probably just could have copied that visually. Um, but I grabbed the text, so uh, looks like there's an update. I'll just grab the visual side of it so you can see this. Copy. There we go. Visual. Paste. And save. Go back to my sample page, which is here. Refresh the screen. This girl should be right up there. And it's a clickable image that will take you right to what we linked it to, to that echo. So that's it, man. That's how you link images. Um, you know, let me know if you have any other questions. Take care.